What's up guys, welcome, hope you're doing well. As I promised in the previous video, I'm gonna teach you how to make cheese in Blender Geometry Node like this. Let me show you, yeah, here's the cheese and here's the node set, pretty easy and short, so let's do this. Okay, here we are, and the scene, let's lead everything, add a cube again, and Let's give it a proper dimension. I want the Z to be about 2.5 centimeters. Okay, something like this. Move it up a little bit. And there we go. Oh, let me make it full screen going to geometry node editor and, and yeah we are starting here okay oh it's important to apply the scale so don't forget that okay what we want in here um, let me explain you when I see cheese uh, how do I think to make this I see some points like this with a volume around them which are some kind of merged together and after smoothing that uh, we would have it a shape like cheese or with changing parameters we could have something else okay um, so let's distribute some points in it first I can go through here distribute distribute points in volume okay but first we need to convert this mesh to volume to volume and I can hold alt shift and click okay increase density to see what's happening it's uh, the resolution is not enough so 428 okay the exterior bandwidth when I see a rounded shape like this and it's of course a huge shape but our shape wasn't that huge so it should be so much smaller like this okay now we have the shape density to about 40 now i can plug this in distribute points in volume this density is not the number of points remember and it's so dependent on this density so we put something like we set it to 2 million 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay the radius is too much just for having better vision i set the radius to something lower set point radius okay now we have it okay and uh, density i can change density in here set it to something like um 100 150 okay now we can see that is uh, the density is so uniform in all coordinates we want some holes in the cheese so we should delete some of these points we use delete geometry in here now we deleted all of the points in here I, c I like to use noise texture you can check other textures but for more control use map range and give it to selection let's see what's happening here um, okay okay yep let's lower the scale a uh, higher increase the scale in here okay let me explain this the selection 
uh, in here the white points are the selected points and the black are not selected so it means that the selected which are white points are going to be deleted so um, I need more contrast in it so lower details do something like this give a little bit distortion okay for having more contrast I set it to something like um, this mm, like this okay it's still too large something about 80 for starting now I wanna turn this off so we can see yep the points we can see here um, the white points are the deleted points because they are the selected in here the delete geometry node okay now what do we want in here we have the points okay let me show you we have the points and we want some uh, volume around the point like an, uh, a sphere volume around the point like this oh and these volumes are some kind of going to merge together and after converting this volume to the mesh we would have some shape like this okay so we have points to volume okay <coughs> we should be careful about this it might just make your machine crash <laughs> uh, at least my machine is not a beefy machine i'm doing this on my laptop okay first thing we can see is the radius it's too much we set it to something like this and we can not see anything because of the voxel amount i set it to size it's just my my desire i set it to something like we should be careful we shouldn't just go super low in one try in the first try mm. it's not it's still good let me increase the density first we can see anything now let's set it to something like this okay we have something in here so let's convert this to mesh no volume to mesh okay first set the shading to smooth okay um, let me check these options what's adaptivity it means that uh, it automatically gives more polygons more segments to the place it needs like on pointy uh, curvy segments and in flat surfaces it won't be needed any uh, extra polygons and let's try something 0.5 we can check if our shape didn't change too much so 0.5 is okay I set it to something like one the threshold it works with density if the density is larger than this threshold uh, it will go inside the generated mesh as it's uh, obviously saying so okay we can see that we don't have enough points in here um, and of course the radius it's important look even a sl slight change in radius or some parameters can give a different shape to us now let's increase the density to something like 
okay? The holes in here are too big. That's because of the noise scale. If we set it to something like 150, it would be like this, and it's still too big. So 250, okay. We have uh, smaller holes in here. This number, it is actually the contrast, so it's important. It can give a lot of change to the mesh. Okay. Setting the radius, something like this. Okay. It doesn't have any special effect, the density in here, so just let it be. Okay, set it to 300. Yeah. And um, voxel amount, the last step I want to do is to increase the voxel amount to something like uh, 256 to have more accurate shape. Okay, but at last, we want to give some smooth modifier since we don't have the node in here in geometry node editor we set it to something like 15 or 20 or 10 okay let's check 20 i like 15 yeah this is the cheese and um that's it but before, since we converted the mesh to volume and then to points and again to volume to mesh, so we messed things up, we need to set the material in geometry node. But before that, we can make a new material in here, set the name to cheese, and set material in here cheese okay if you want to see the parameters i showed you first okay you can see the parameters in here density is 300 and voxel amount uh, density 2 millions yeah the scale is um, 250 and the detail is 0.5 and this number is important from mean it's 0 0.57 and voxel size is here is the same radius and yep they're all the same we have this in here I want to show you the material I made for this. Here is the material. I gave it a little bit of color, yellowish, reddish color. Also, the same color to subsurface color. But uh, the method I use for subsurface scattering is to give some color like this to a scale. And, and the subsurface amount, I set it to high value and control the subsurface amount actually in here so we would have something like this and I give it a uh, little bit more glassiness than the default roughness uh, so in here I like to show you something else um, the good thing about making things procedurally like this is to uh, you can add something else in it and join to the previous shape like here and plug in everything else Okay, you can see here that they are completely merged together and that's because of this technique uh, which you convert the mesh to volume and then after doing your stuff you convert this uh, to mesh again. So 
they're completely unified and yep that's it guys thanks for watching if it was helpful please consider hitting the like button and yeah goodbye